Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we are continuing our Whiteboard Wednesday video series and we're talking about global load balancing algorithms or global load balancing modes and uh, today we're going to talk about the concept of a virtual server score and so again when a client request comes in to the GTM it needs to know which virtual server to choose and so using virtual server score uh, it's going to pick the one with the highest score. So on virtual server score, high score wins. All right, a couple of things about virtual server score. Uh, number one, it requires LTM. And so if you don't have LTM, then what are you doing anyway, right? You need LTM. Um, and then also the virtual server uh, score is set on an LTM virtual server. And so you can do that dynamically or you can do it manually. Uh, preferably it would be done dynamically because manually you just have some guy sitting in the corner just kind of changing the virtual server score that didn't make, didn't make a lot of sense so let's do it dynamically alrighty and then it ranges from no capacity which means this virtual server has absolutely no capacity to do anything else it's completely full it's completely you know occupied uh, so it goes no capacity to full capacity which means hey I got nothing going on I can accept all kinds of good stuff alrighty and then that score I'm going to put a 1 to 100, that's a bad zero, but anyway, 1 to 100. So in this case, no capacity is actually going to have a score of 1, which seems a little interesting. Full capacity has a score of 100, which means I'm 100% available, I'm good to go. Um, the reason that the no capacity starts with 1 is if you, have a, if you have a score of 0, then that means that virtual server score is not involved it's uh, it's kind of out of the picture so you can have a zero set against your virtual server score but that means you've taken it out of the uh, out of the picture all right so one to 100 all right so i'm going to give you a couple of different examples here on when you would use virtual server score so let's say you have a virtual server and you have three pools with their different pool members down here um, but none of there there is not a default pool let's say for example and these pools are attached to the virtual server, let's say by either an iRule or maybe by a policy. Um, but you want to know the, let's say in this case, you want to know the, uh, the, the virtual server capacity uh, for each of these pools. And then we're going to turn that virtual server capacity number into our virtual server score. So what you could do is you could use an iCall script. I'll just put iCall over here. iCall script to actually calculate the capacity in this example of each of these pools and let's say for example this pool this member is down let's say this one these two are down and in this one these three are down which means the capacity of this pool is 75 percent I'm gonna oh, yeah, that's horrible five all right 75 percent and then this one is 50 percent because that uh, two of them are down and in this one, because three of them are down, it's 25% uh, capacity. Alrighty, and then it's going to take the, the, uh, the overall number from each of these uh, and come up with an overall score of 50%. That's a horrible five. But anyway, 50% of these pool members are, you know, it, it has capacity for those. So again, in this case, I call script goes out. It uh, calculates a virtual server capacity score and then it comes up with an overall number and that number becomes now our virtual server score. And so, uh, so that's one example on how you could use uh, uh, virtual server score using say an iCall script and the virtual server capacity which we talked about virtual server capacity in a previous video. I'm going to use another example on, uh, on how to calculate virtual server score. Let's say you have uh, which by the way on that one, I know I just erased it, you may have another virtual server over here with different pools and it's going to calculate, uh, let's say you can calculate the exact same thing for that virtual server uh, with other pools and so again the high score wins. So that one in our case had a 50 uh, for the score. Let's say you did that on a whole different virtual server with other pools and I don't, if that one had say 75 or whatever then that virtual server would actually win because it's got a higher score. Alright, but the second example I'm going to talk about is uh, let's say you have three virtual servers and I'll just put virtual server, virtual server, virtual server and let's say all of these have APM uh, provision on them. APM. Alrighty, so the question is which virtual server score is going to win? Well the way that APM calculates the virtual server score is it uses the, uh, uh, the connections 
connections, or, or the active, I'll say active connections, and it's, it's maybe hard to read that, but anyway, active, or actually active, I said connections, it's actually active sessions, I'm sorry. Um, active sessions, so I'll put, uh, I'll just put AS for active sessions, uh, divided by the, uh, the number that you have licensed. So the licensed, I'll put licensed max. Okay, so the active sessions divided by the licensed maximum number of, uh, of, of count that you have licensed for that APM. So for example, let's say you have 100 active connections, or I'm sorry, active sessions on this uh, APM. And let's say you have, a, in fact, let's say you have 100 on all three of these. So the question is, how many do you have licensed for each of those? And let's say this one is, uh, let's say it's 500. Um, let's say this one's 1,000. And let's say this one is 2,000. All righty. Keeping the math kind of uh, plain and clean and simple. All righty. So this one is 100 out of 500. 100 out of 1,000, 100 out of 2,000. So this one has the most amount of capacity available. And so it's going to take that, it's going to take that and use that as the virtual server score. And, uh, and it's going to select this virtual server because it's got the highest score because it has the most amount of capacity at that time. So again, virtual server score. So those are a couple of examples with the iCall script that you can use to, uh, let's say, calculate the capacity. Um, here's an APM example where it uses active sessions and, um, and then it, it you know, uses that as your virtual server score. And, the, and by the way, the APM, that's, that's another dynamic uh, setting uh, where you don't have to go in there and do it yourself. It's going to automatically calculate that score for you. So, uh, so if you have APM provision, it's gonna, it'll automatically set your virtual server score for you. Okay, so virtual server score, that's just another uh, load balancing mode or load balancing algorithm that you can use at the global load balancing level. So uh, thanks for watching this today. Thanks for staying with us on this Whiteboard Wednesday video series of global uh, load balancing algorithms. Uh, we'll come to you next time with a, uh, I'll call it the mother of all load balancing algorithms, uh, quality of service. And uh, so that's a little tease to get you to stay tuned for next week. So thanks for uh, watching today and we'll see you out there in the community.